Hi, my name's Maria Miller, and I'm still a senior from Scott Catholic. And this poem is titled, Clockwork, after John Mark Hutcher. When I turned 10, my father bought me a shotgun, 20 gauge with a shortened barrel so a child could reach it. He dug it into my shoulder, strangled my fingers around its neck. Sometimes, all I can hear in class is the clock ticking and the pencils tapping bored melodies against it. We solemnly speak of headlines. January 3rd, 15-year-old student shoots 16. February 1st, 12-year-old girl discharges a firearm at Sal Castro Middle School. February 9th, high school student shot five times in the parking lot. February 14th, 19-year-old man gunned down students and staff with a rifle at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. My sister stood 10 paces behind the shotgun and I. My dog's tail thumped a heartbeat on my ankle, my hand slick with slobber or tears or sweat quivered over the safety notch. We list the dead like clockwork, like at least only the little hands stopped moving, like at least you can still read the minutes, but all those little hands stopped moving and time doesn't work right anymore. My teacher tells us tells us not to be afraid, it tells us it's okay to be afraid, assures us not to worry, I have a big body to block you, she says, if our escape routes fail. When my father pulled the trigger of the child-sized shotgun for me, I was knocked onto my back. Sometimes when I hear the clock, I wonder what it's ticking down to. Geometry test, group presentation, lunchtime lockdown. Please, let it be a drill. We argue about arming teachers, fighting fire with firearms, bullets with more bodies. I wonder if my parents get upset when I rush out the door without saying goodbye, not because of etiquette, because they need to know that the last look they shot me was loving. The way my father holds his Glock, their hearts beating in the same meter. That's the thing about guns, they consume you. You can feel the weight of the kill in your hand and defend it. Break open the blue veins when need dead eyes seeing stars. See the cracks stained with blood. Dip your fingers in it, slash red lines across white cloth and call it paint. Call it patriotism, call it curriculum, call it constitutional. My teacher mentions Great Mills, Maryland. The girl in the back row beneath the ticking clock asks, which one was that again? <laughs> 